Hi everybody, so here's some math in society. Here's a good application for us. Um, we have the governor of Washington talking about the number of Washington residents who have been vaccinated. And we've got this graph here. And a question that comes to mind is, well, if we keep going at this rate, how long will it be before everybody in the state is vaccinated, right? So, um, so, so what I'm gonna do is use an online calculator called Desmos. So I'll just search for D-E-S-M-O-S, -S, press enter, and I'll use the, there's different ones, but I'll use the scientific calculator. And I'm using Windows, I'm gonna show you a nice little trick for putting your windows side by side. So I'm gonna take this window out uh, minimize it and then I'm going to grab it here and I'm going to put it all the way to the right of the screen watch this put it all the way here and now it takes up half the screen then the other window I want to look at is over here I'm going to click on that and and there we have it and now um, there is a way to what is that way there's a way to oh there we go there's a if you get this bar in the middle you can you can then uh, it doesn't have to be half and half you can have I'm gonna have most of the screen this 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 question and the other part of the screen the graph the uh, calculator so there we have it um, let me just move that up a bit move that over a bit okay so um, so here's our question and, and it, it's if the vaccination rate continues like this estimate how long will it take before the entire population of Washington gets a shot for COVID right so um, we have lots of different numbers here and we could make this really complicated and we could um, you know try to look at the growth rates in between each day but I think that's that's kind of silly let's just take you know this number here and um, and then take an earlier number and we'll just do interpolation from from two points so let's just take this one that's January 7th and it's about between it's between 140 and 160,000 I'm just gonna call out 150,000 right so 150,000 Washingtonians have been vaccinated on January by January 7th and if I go back to something like uh, December 23rd, we had about 40,000. Okay, it's just an estimate, about 40,000. So between these two days, we have um, 110,000 Washingtonians vaccinated. Now, how many days was that? Um, December 23rd um, to 31st is eight days plus um, you know seven days in January so that's eight days so it's fit from January or from the let's see we took December 23rd okay so for December 23rd up to January 7th that's about 15 days right so um, so yeah 15 days so we take 110,000 uh, Washingtonians vaccinated in 15 days if I divide that by 15 that's about 7,300 per day okay so you might have taken other um, other points but somewhere around 7,000 a day seems seems like a good estimate so the problem we have now is okay so how long before everybody is vaccinated well we have to figure out the population of Washington right so population of Washington state uh, is about 7.6 million, okay? And I mean, we can get complicated, like not everybody's going to get the vaccine. Um, some people are, you know, it's, it's not safe for them for, for different medical reasons and so on. But let's just do a quick estimate. We, we have... Uh, about 7.6 million people in the state 
um, we have um, about 7,300 uh, shots per day. So if I divide, um, I'm, I'm just going to say seven and a half thousand, seven and a half million, sorry. I'm just estimating. Seven and a half million uh, divided by uh, 7,300, let's say. So that's about a thousand and twenty seven days. So if we do so so that's so it's about a thousand and twenty seven days, right? But there are how many days in a year? So there's three hundred and sixty five days in a year, right? So one oh uh two seven divided by three six five gives about two point eight um years. Okay? So again, this is all estimated. We the whole thing was estimated. Let's just say about three years. Okay, that's the answer. It's about three years, um, you, it, based on this rate. Okay, if this rate continues, it'll take about three years. So it's 2021 now. So we're talking uh, 20 beginning of 2024. Maybe January 2024 is what we would expect if this rate continues. Of course, we would expect the rate to go up. We would expect the production of the vaccines to get faster. We would expect um, more places to have them available. And so we would expect the rate per day to increase from 7,000 to, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000 per day, whatever. Something way, way more than that. I think. I think we would expect that, right? We would all expect it. But again, this is an interesting calculation because it's showing that if we keep going at this rate, it's actually going to take three years for everyone in the state to get it to get a vaccine. So anyway, I just thought that was an interesting, um, interesting little exercise. I hope you enjoyed it.